So we have our data set here and it's in a table and we know that because when we click in our data source we get the table tools option in there and we can see there that the table name is table 13. Now to insert a pivot table on the table tools tab design we can choose summarize with pivot table or we can actually go to insert tab and then pivot table like this. Now Excel is smart enough and it selects the table 13 so you see that it's all selected all the way to the bottom and we scroll to the right now it tells us where do we want to put the pivot table now we can choose a new worksheet or we can actually put it into an existing worksheet so we can actually go somewhere in here and put our pivot table there now because we don't have that much space we'll put it into a new worksheet and press ok so you see it's created a new worksheet called sheet 1 and the pivot table is in here now if we step out of the pivot table, we don't see the pivot table tools tab. We're going to actually step into it to activate the pivot table tools. And in here, we can choose options and design. Now under options, we have the pivot table name, which is pivot table number one. And we can change that to customizer and call it my pivot table. And you can see here, it changes the name as well. On the right hand side we have our pivot table field list and we have all the column names here that were in our data source. Now if you can't see this then under pivot table tools tab options you can activate it and deactivate it by the field list button there. Now our pivot table is going to look similar to this design here. Now let's go over to the right hand side and I'll show you how to create a pivot table. So the pivot table is going to look similar to the design that we've just brought over here. The fields that get dropped into the report filter will be shown on the top left hand corner of the pivot table. Fields that get dropped into the column area will be shown on the horizontal area of the pivot table. Fields that get dropped into the row labels area will be shown on the left hand side of the pivot table. And fields that get dropped into the valleys area will be shown into the middle part of the pivot table. Now let's go in and drop some fields into the respective areas. Now we can just hover over the name, grab it and drop it in there just like that. And you can see on the left hand side the pivot table is going to be built. Let's get salespersons into the row labels. Let's get sales here into the column labels and finally let's get the sales into the values area and you can see we get the live preview of our pivot table and there we have it we've created a quick pivot table with just a few clicks and as you can see the design is similar to the one that we saw before